Hello, and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. I'm mostly Darklink, and today what I have for you guys are 11 different logic gates. But Link, you already built and showed us 11 different logic gates. And to that, I say, yes, yes I did. But these logic gates are a bit different. They're a little bit special. Where you see, every single one uses the new copper bolt, and they are all so much smaller like look at all these behind me look at how tiny all these logic gates are now let's go compare that to the last set that i showed you guys now mind you my redstone world's gotten a bit bigger so there's you know stuff all around but this is the last set look at how much more room this takes up than that over there in the horizon now before we get started i do want to give some credit to crafty masterman for inspiring this entire video because i watched one of his videos where he built what he proudly proclaims is the world record for smallest xor gate which is right behind me so all we got is observer levers a block the copper bolt and a comparator and no matter which one we flip changes our copper bolt and i don't know if you know this about me but xor gates are my favorite logic gate i love them for switches and lights and doors and everything so when i saw this i got real excited and i had to build it and test it myself and then after i built it and tested it went wow that's amazing i was wondering can i replace any of these other logic gates because we just turned this mess into this and then well found out yes now i do also want to point out here that i also found out while researching and seeing if anyone else had built any of these which could not find that i found a youtuber by the name of g2 lugo who happened to build this thing right behind me just a couple of days before crafty posted this video and if we go by scientific paper rules, which is usually how I like to give credit for things, and I need to give credit for this build itself to GT Lugo. Sorry, Crafty Master Man. But I'm still giving you credit for inspiring me for this video. Yeah, because of all of that, I messing around and I shrank every single logic gate using a copper bolt. Now we have what I'm calling the copper gates. Or you know, if you want to be awesome, you guys can call them the link gates. Huh? Huh? Yeah, you're not going to do that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and show you guys all these logic gates and how to make them yourself. So the first set of copper gates we got here are the copper NAND and copper AND gates. Now, if you weren't aware, NAND gates, well, let's start with AND. So AND gates, the way they work is if you have both of your signals off, you have no output. You also have no output if you only have one or the other switch off. You have to have both outputs on, well, both inputs on, in order to get an output. That is why it's called an AND gate, because you need both of them, A and B. Now, NAND is the inverse of that. So we have both of them off, and we have an output there. We flick one on, we still have an output. B on, still got the output. Flick both of them on, and we no longer have the output. Yeah. And, and band. And as you can see, this is all it is. So we got computer, observer, copper bulb, comparator, and some redstone dust. And this is all meeting up into a line for the repeater. Over here, we're just replacing that one redstone dust right there with a target block and a torch coming out the back. Now, the next set of copper gates we got for you guys are the OR and the NOR gate. So, OR is similar to AND, but instead of needing both of them, you need A or B. Hence, OR gate. So, right now we have no output. If we flick on, nah. if we flick A on, we will get an output. If we turn that off and then flick B on, we get an output as well. If both of them are on, we'll also still get an output. So the only way we won't get an output is if both are off. And then NOR here is the inverse. So one on, turns it off. Both on, still off. Only one of them on again, still off. Both of them off, we get our output. And then that's how they look here. And then if you want to use 
just the repeaters going into the observers, you can choose the same thing. You just have to have an output like this. So the next set of gates we have are the XOR and XNOR gates. Now, we did tweak it slightly from the design I showed you previously, and that is because of making the inputs a bit easier. But in order to do that, we did have to make it slightly bigger. But you know, that's okay. So XOR, what we got is if we have one on, we'll have an output. If we have both on, we will not have an output. So for an XOR to work, either OR has to be on, but if both are on or both are off, we get no signal. Now XNOR is the inverse of that. So we have one on, no output, both on, we get an output. Again, only one on, no output, both off, we have an output. And that is how that looks, so you can build it yourself. The next set of gates we have is A imply B and A nimbly B. Got these a little bit flopped on the build. So we'll start over here with A imply B. So with A imply B, B will not do anything unless we have A toggled. So we have A on, we have an output, turn B on, and our output is off, turn B off, we have it on. But if we turn A off, B is now locked and no longer does anything. A nimbly B is the opposite. So again, B will do nothing, but we have our output right now with both of them being off. Turn A on, we no longer have an output, and now we can use B to toggle. And then that is how they both look. Again, imply is right below me, and then nimbly is right there. Now the next gate, it's not a set of gates, it's just a single gate. We got the copper not gate. Pretty much when our input is not on, we have an output. When our input is on, we no longer have an output. So it just reverses whatever our input is. And that one is fairly simple. It's just this. Now, Next, we have the copper RS NOR latch. This one admittedly took me a little bit longer than I care to admit to figure out, but pretty much what an RS NOR latch is, is if we toggle a signal, as we see right now, nothing's happening. We have to toggle a different signal in order to switch things. So if we hit A, we'll get our output here. If we hit A again, nothing's going to happen. We have to hit B, and then our output changes over here to output B. Again, we keep hitting B, nothing's going to happen. And that is how you make it with the copper bowls. Fairly simple. And then lastly, I've already featured this in my T flip flop video, but because I mentioned T flip flops in my last Logic A video, I figured I had to bring it up here. And that is the cop flop. Now, if you don't already know, the cop flop is the smallest possible T flip flop you can currently make. All it is is copper bowl with a parator. That's it. So if we hit this button, we get an output again we no longer get an output that's simple i've said it before and i'll say it again the copper bulb has revolutionized the way the redstone circuitry works i will quickly note that if you spam any of these gates you will mess it up but that's true for a lot of other redstone builds so just don't spam one neat thing about the copper gates over other logic gates is that you can toggle these in a way that you can't toggle other logic gates. So if we have some kind of signal running into these copper bulbs, we could change the type of gate it is. So like right now we have just looking at, let's say, what is this, the NOR gate? If we run the redstone signal into this copper bulb, this copper bulb will be off instead of on and it'll completely flip it. So instead of a NOR gate, we then turn it into an OR gate and vice versa. And then some of these, I uh, can't find exactly which one, but some of these, if you toggle them, they'll completely change gate type. Actually, right here, the NAND gate, if we run signal into those blocks, we'll change it from a NAND gate into an OR gate. Yeah, lots of neat things you could do with copper gates that you can't do with normal other gates. So I'm curious what some of you redstone engineers that are way smarter than me come up with using all these things. That's pretty much it. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Until next time, see ya.